Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Hope you are all fine. Yesterday we started unit 3 that is media and its impact. We were on page number 23 and we have read the dialogue of student 3. So today we are going to continue our class from the same page and with the same conversation. So before that let's have a, a recap first that what we had read about media do you remember we read that media is the most powerful means of communication it shares news and information of the world sometimes it is accused of giving false news but generally it informs us about the events and happenings around the world so it has become an important part of our life. Then we read that there are two major means of communication, electronic media and print media. That includes film, radio, television, internet, books, magazines and newspapers. Now this is what was added by the student number three and where we ended our class yesterday. Today we will start with the teacher's comment or response on his edition. So here we start on page number 23, teacher's dialogue that is good. It's through media that the world has become a global village. There is coverage of all the important events of the world on television. We can have an easy access to all kinds of information through media. So he has added a good point and teacher said that good. It's through media that the world has become a global village. Now what is a global village? So what is a village? A village is a smaller area, area where people live closer to each other. And how world is said to be a global village? Through internet. And that is a part of media that it has made this world a global village. Now people living far away they can have contact with each other. They can know about each other. So the world has turned into a global village. There is coverage of all the important events of the world on television. Whatever is happening around the world, we can watch it on the television. And we can know the, these things quickly. We can have an easy access to all kinds of information through media. We can have access to, access to means we can get, approach all kinds of information through media. Whatever is happening around us, around in the world, whatever is happening, whatever are the events we can come to know through media. So media has turned this world into a global village. Student 4 said, can we say that the world is just a click away? Now another student stood up and he asked a question from the teacher that can we say that this word is just a click away from us? Teacher said, maybe. Well, would any other student like to say something on it? And then Miss Aisha points to the student sitting at the end. So boys, what happens in the class usually? The teachers are very conscious or they are more interested towards the students who are backbenchers or who are sitting at the back. So did Ma'am Aisha that she points at to the student who was sitting at the back and asks her that would any other student like to say something on it? That student 5 said that Ma'am, in my opinion, media plays a very constructive role for society. He added a very good point. He said that media plays a very constructive role for society. He said that basically media has a constructive role. Constructive role means a positive role. How? It raises awareness about many social issues. It plays a constructive role as it raises awareness about many social issues like corruption. It makes people aware of what is corruption. It also makes people aware of terrorism, drug addiction and a violation of. Violation means breaking of rules violation of human rights. So in this way, media has a constructive or positive role. Teacher said, yes, you are right. Then student six said, 
Media has also become a mouthpiece of the downtrodden. See boys, you know that uh, the, all the students came very well prepared for this discussion. So another student stood up and he said that media has also become a mouthpiece of the downtrodden. Now mouthpiece of the downtrodden, what does this, paraphr uh, this phrase mean? It means that media has become a representative of oppressed people, of helpless people, of poor people. Media is a source for those people who want to convey or who want to share their problems. It has become the mouthpiece of the downtrodden or the oppressed or helpless people. Teacher says, yes, well said. You added a good point. It would not be wrong to say that media is the most vigilant institution that keeps an eye on every segment of the society. Now, teacher says that it would not be wrong to say. Means if we say that media is the most vigilant in institution, then we are not wrong to say this. What does vigilant means? Vigilant means watchful. It means observant. Now, watchful, observant means to have an eagle eye. Means to be very much careful towards something. So he said, she said that media is the most vigilant institution that keeps an eye on every segment. Segment means every part, every section, every sector of the society. Through debates, reports and talk shows, it makes everyone answerable and accountable. Through debates on hot topics, on hot issues, on important issues, through reports, through talk shows that you have all often seen on the television related to political issues or social issues or economical issues, it makes everyone answerable. It makes people answerable, responsible and liable for what they have done and accountable. Here boys, these answerable and accountable, these are synonyms and these two words have almost the same meaning means answerable means accountable and accountable means answerable. Responsible means, both these words means responsible or liable. It means that the role of media is emphasized here that through media, people who are doing anything in any sector, in any part, they are answerable to their deeds. That is why media has become an integral part of our lives. As it is playing a very important role through debates, reports and talk shows, it has become an integral part. Integral part means very essential part of our lives. Then teacher says that now I would invite one of you to sum up the discussion. So what happens whenever there goes a discussion, it, is, it always have an end. You are asked to write an essay, you are asked to write something. It always have a conclusion. It always has a sum. So the teacher said that is ask some of the students, uh, any one of the students to come and to sum up the discussion. So student one stands up and he says, I would conclude the discussion by saying that media can play a positive role and has a corrective impact if it works honestly. How he concluded? He said that, Media can play a positive role, that media has a positive role and it can play its positive role more effectively and has a corrective impact and it can have a corrective impact if it works honestly, if the, it knows its responsibility and does its work with honesty. This was the conclusion, this was the sum up of whole discussion. So the teacher said, good conclusion. I am happy that all of you have participated in this discussion and have expressed yourselves very well. So teacher appreciated that student that you have concluded this um, discussion in a very good way that it has a positive role and it has a corrective, it can have a corrective impact on the people. So I am happy that all of you have participated in this discussion and have expressed yourselves very well. And she commented that she is, uh, I am happy that you have all participated in this discussion and have expressed yourselves. With this, the bell rings. Miss Aisha says goodbye to the class and leaves. Here ends our lesson. I hope that you have also understood this lesson. 
and it was not something very difficult it is very easy and it is in your common use and in, in your common observation the role of media and its impact in our on our lives after that comes our diary so your diary today is very short shorter than you were given earlier and this is because of ramazan your diary is boys learn spellings of all the difficult words of today's lecture that was page 23 and 24 including page 22 so that you can have a um, uh, revise you whatever you have learned yesterday along with that glossary given on page 24 and then write the answer of box question and that box question is which is your favorite tv program and why it is asked from you all of you may have your different uh, favorite programs so which is your favorite tv program and why it is your favorite tv program you have to write answer of this question here ends our class so allah hafiz